when it comes to scooters in India, Honda is one brand that immediately comes to your mind. Their simple combination of easy to use and reliability has served them well. But over the last couple of years, the competition in the scooter segment has really heated up. These competitors have upped the game by either introducing new features or by providing exciting looking powerful scooters and in some cases both. This fierce competition has created a demand for scooters that are feature rich and reasonably powerful. And the Grazia is Honda's answer to fill this void in its lineup. At first glance, the Honda Grazia looks the part. It has sharp lines at the front, a very compact and aggressive stance and looks like a scooter of this day and age. It definitely looks up to date and premium. There are three tones of colors right at the front, but as we move along to the rear, things settle down. There are carbon fiber textured bits thrown around and a huge Honda sticker below the footboard that adds a sporty look to the Grazia. The rear section houses the chrome Grazia badging and a big and bright tail lamp and a chunky pillion grab rail that blends well with the design. The engine on the Honda Grazia is the tried and tested 125cc one from the Activa 125. It produces 8.52 HP at 6500 RPM and 10.54 Nm at 5000 RPM. In typical Honda fashion, this motor does its duty in a refined way and behaves well in daily ride conditions. In city riding conditions, even with the pillion, the Gracia had enough grunt to pull away easily. Its sweet spot is around the 30 to 50 km per hour range and maxed out we saw 82 km per hour on a long straight. The throttle is light but there is a very slight hesitation below the 3k RPM mark but you will only notice it if you're looking for it and you're not often in that RPM range. Coming to the mileage, the Honda Gracia returned an impressive 45 km to the litter with most of the riding in the 30 to 60 km per hour speed range. Now, scooters in general are not the best handling machines and the smaller wheel size and overall design never really appeal in a sporty way. And in that way, the Honda Gracia is similar to most of the scooters out there. But it does give you a better package because the front tire on the Gracia is a 12 inch one and that along with the telescopic forks really make a world of a difference in terms of how the front end of the scooter feels. The telescopic forks soak up bumps better and the slightly larger tire gives you an extra bit of confidence. And speaking of confidence, the one thing that we really loved a lot on the Honda Gracia are its brakes. We rode the top end model that comes with the 190mm front disc brake. This combined with the combi braking system that is standard on all variants really make braking woes a thing of the past. The seat is also comfortable, but taller riders will have to sit back on the seat. But at the same time, even while sitting forward, there was no instance where the legs got in the way of the handlebars. But apart from all these, what really makes the Honda Gracia stand out from the crowd of scooters are the features that it comes loaded with. Let's start with the headlights. The Honda Gracia gets all LED headlights with a total of 6 LEDs. Two are on right away with ignition, two come on when you start and all of them light up when you go to high beam. An integrated pass switch as seen on some of its competitors was missed though. Next comes the instrument console. Again, as a segment first, the instrument console is a reverse LCD screen and the cluster also gets a digital tachometer. A clock is also a welcome addition. The top of the instrument cluster comes with three eco indicator lights. If all the three lights are on, which is usually around the 45 km per hour mark, then it means you're getting maximum efficiency. And these lights vary between none to all three depending on your riding speed and RPM. The next feature is the special seat lock release switch. Just move the key to the seat mark and depress the button to unlock the seat. And finally, you have the small compartment up front for holding your mobile or other small accessories. This also has a provision to house an optional charging socket. But the door on this one felt a bit flimsy. So that's what the Honda Gracia is all about. It's essentially the same reliable Honda that we have been used to for so many years. But now comes of age and caters to a wider variety of riders and especially the youth who want something that is economical yet stylish. If you have any questions, do let us know below and we will get back to you immediately. And please do subscribe to our channel for the latest.